Hello, investing friends. Welcome into Investors Club. Got a great show for you. Cassava Sciences reported 100 patients at one year for its Alzheimer's drug, Semifilam. 63% of patients improved. Not only, not only didn't get, not only, not, in, in, uh, like Aduhelm said, they got worse, but they didn't get as worse. Well, in this case, 63% of patients after a year uh, uh, on the drug got better. Uh, on the ADAS-COG scale, you're supposed to decline pretty rapidly in Alzheimer's disease. 63% got better. We'll take a look at all the details. And we got a really terrific update from Cassava Sciences also on their enrollment numbers for phase three way ahead of the game, enrolling about 1.1 patients per trial site at about 140 trial sites. The, I, we were hoping they were going to get up to 300 for this report. They got up to 400, and apparently that's end of June numbers. So they may even be up to 500 or more by now. Pretty terrific stuff. Getting close to a third enrollment. Great stuff there. Uh, we'll take a look at all kinds of stuff, all kinds of discussion in the dis Discord around all these exciting developments. We'll talk about all the uh, all of the interesting facets around it. Not an investment advisor, not investment advice. Today, days like today, are why we have Investors Club, number one rack stock analyst in the world. Uh, this is Investors Club. This is research and analysis for you and me, the regular investors, where we take apart data like this and look at it and say, here's what it means, because the financial media is already telling lies and all of these, this stuff. So let's take a look. Let's you and, and me take a look, the regular investor, at these developments. Let's dive right in. This is the Discord. This is, a, we'll take a look at the Discord in a second. I wanted to show the Discord. We'll take a look at all the stuff we were talking about in there. Cassava's down 4% on this news today. However, however, look at, remember yesterday? Look at yesterday. Yesterday was way up on that funny volume, up to 20 bucks yesterday on that funny volume. Seen more than 3 million shares trade. Seems as this might have leaked, perhaps. Perhaps this leaked, perhaps this leaked. And then let's just get right into it. So let's get right into it because we got a lot to talk about. I know you guys are probably anxious to talk. Let's do this thing. So here's the report, the Q2 report. By the way, somebody here on Investors Club last week said we could get data. They've got 100 patients through. The whole, uh, the whole year, couldn't we get that? And I said, you're right, they do have that, but I don't think we're gonna get it. But you were right, we did get it. They surprised us and this is during AAIC. So they played possum and didn't go to AAIC to not be a lightning rod for criticism from Big Pharma and the media indirectly, uh, Big Pharma indirectly through the media, if I said that right. But brilliantly, they, they stole the headlines of, of Alzheimer's at the, from, they stole the AAIC headlines by releasing this unprecedented data, except unless it was precedented by themselves, unprecedented data during AAIC. I thought that was brilliant. Okay, so the phase three program has over 400 patients enrolled, not even 400, over 400, really terrific. We'll talk about that in a second. And then the 12 month open label, safe and well tolerated, we never talk about that. That's probably the very most important thing of all. This drug is safe and well tolerated yet again. It looks like it works, but if it looks like it works and it's like Aduhelm where your brain bleeds, is it worth it? Ugh, I don't know. Well, this looks like it works a lot better than Aduhelm ever looked like it worked. And once again, safe and well tolerated. That, that's extremely important. And it's been so boring on that front. We, we don't really talk about it much. Semifilam, safe and well tolerated yet again. So, so important, probably perhaps the most important thing. Okay, and then overall, ADAS COG uh, average improved 1.5 points. Now that headline is a little bit disappointing, but also a little bit misleading. So if we look back to September 22nd, 2021, uh, when uh, 50 patients went through a year, it was a 3.2 point increase. Now we're down to a 1.5 point increase. Oh, that's not good, except look at this, 63% of the 100 patients showed improvement. So 63 of 100, at, uh, when it was 50 people, it was 68%, wherever that 68, uh, on here somewhere is 68%. So it now went down to 63. So the next 50 people had 58% 
of patients improve. So the overall uh, uh, average went down pretty significantly, but still most people improved. And then it was an average of 5.6 points improving. Now I got to find this here. It is six, so 68% and it improved six and on average they improved 6.8%. So even the people that improved still didn't improve quite as much, but that's still a terrific improvement. If you stay the same, you're supposed to decline by about five points after a year of having Alzheimer's disease. If you stay the same, that's incredibly important. That'd be terrific. And most people most that have family members with this disease would say, if you could just stop the decline, that would be terrific. Uh, but they're improving by five points. It used to be six points, so it's five points. So maybe uh, around the, uh, for the first 50 people, it was six point something maybe for the 50 uh, the next 50 people it was four point something for how much they improved fine that was in this in this case it was 58 percent of people improved by about four point something so most people improve by more than four points on average that's incredible that's absolutely incredible so and the, so, so then what's up with this 1.5 point of overall improvement well then if if the overall went down so much but the people that improved didn't go down very much then there must have been a few or a handful of people that declined, that declined quite a bit, pulling down the overall average. Okay, fine. Most people improved. That's terrific. That's really terrific. And then even the people that didn't approve, improve. So we had overall 63% improve. 21% of the patients that declined still declined less than five points on average 2.7 you would expect if you have alzheimer's disease to lose five points a year well even amongst the 20 so there was 37 per 30 overall 37 percent of people declined but 21 percent versus 21 percent didn't decline as much as you would think 16 percent did that number actually improved a little from the from the last report uh 20 percent actually it, it improved a little but it's not as meaningful because a larger percent improved so that so never mind i said that but very very good so safe and well tolerated incredibly important the patients that improved which was most people improved significantly very cool and then uh there it looks like the big the big news is it basically looks like the same as last time with a handful or about a handful let's say of big decliners bringing down the overall average but still most people improved significantly. So very cool and safe and well tolerated. So very, very cool checking audio. <laughs> that would have been a shame if there was no audio. Would have been a shame if there was no audio. 72 people, that's a record since we started up again. Way to go team, thanks for being here. And then someone in the Discord noticed this. Patients are now being screened in clinical trial sites in US, Canada, Puerto Rico, and Australia. Puerto Rico is new. And then this is new as well. In the second half of 2022, we expect to initiate an open label extension study for phase three programs. So when you finish the phase three, you then get to go and stay on the drug, thank goodness, until it's approved, hopefully. And so that's news that they did this and it's about time or it's, or it's coming up on time to do that because at the end of last year, they started enrolling. And of their two trials, one of them is a year long. So there'll be patients that are done in not too long this year. And they'll be, they'll, the good news is that they'll have a chance to go on open label. Very good news. And then just some discussion points. Uh, the standard deviation I wanted to bring up. The standard deviation, and if you were wondering, the standard deviation of a data set is the square root of its variance. But forget that. I wanted to talk about the, real quick, the standard deviation. When you look at the overall change, so the overall improved by 1.5 points, which was a little bit disappointing, but that standard deviation is very large, 6.6. .6. If you look at the patients that improved, which is almost 2.3, or so, excuse me, which is almost two thirds, the standard deviation is about half. So there was a lot more variability uh, once you include the people that did not improve. So it seemed like there was in fact some big decliners that pulled the overall average down. Okay. Uh, and then this is a back, so this is, this is from the Discord. This is uh, myself and others chatting in the Discord. Just a bunch of stuff I just wanted to bring up. This is a backdoor way to steal the spotlight at AAIC. I thought that was brilliant. By the way, I'll put the stock up in the corner here. 
stocks down 3%, but it was up big yesterday. So it seems like this, this news might have been leaked. And then a great news drop. Love the surprise to catch Fudsters off guard. It caught me off guard. It did not catch one of the Investors Club viewers off guard that suggested it last week. I didn't think they would do this. Uh, they said multiple ad hocs this year, so maybe I shouldn't have dismissed it. Uh, and good on them, like, like you say, uh, for having this, this the shock and awe, the surprise attack. I, I love it too. Someone in the club guessed this last week. And then why, why were there some big decliners? Well, someone in the Discord says, vagaries uh, in compliance in medications and original diagnosis. So people not taking their medicines could explain it and just going down the, the tubes as far as Alzheimer's, not taking your meds, that, that would do it. Uh, not having a good original diagnosis, okay. Uh, maybe dealing with more than one disease, you could have Alzheimer's plus something else that sends you down the tubes, okay. Uh, and I was, my suggestion was maybe these people were late stage. This is meant for mild to moderate. Maybe these people were later stage. Uh, and then there's shenanigans. And this is a fact that I heard a story somebody told me that at one of these trial sites, a doctor was not happy because Sava Sciences does not pay as much as Big Pharma and did something to sabotage a participant of this trial. I, I heard that from someone. Uh, and so there, it could be that there is shenanigans like that. Uh, doctors running these trial sites, uh, un unscrupulous doctors, not most of them, of course, but in the, the heard of one, heard of one trying to shuttle patients into the trials that make them more money. They have the incentive to do it. And I heard of one case, so it could be that a handful of times that happened. Yesterday was a funny move on pretty heavy volume. Maybe word got out. Yes. So it looks like maybe the move today is a little bit of a drop, but it was a big update yesterday. So maybe this was leaked and a big volume day yesterday. Uh, what they're saying, the Fudsters are saying is don't ever trust open label studies. What the Fudsters are saying. It's placebo effect is what the Fudsters are saying. Data is manipulated is what the Fudsters are saying. And Remy did it again is what the Fudsters are Same old crap. And then the, here's a great retort to the placebo effect. Somebody said, if the placebo effects were that strong, the hospitals would be empty. Yeah, you can't improve. Most people taking a cognition test a year after having Alzheimer's can't fake an improvement. If it's, if it's a placebo, then give everybody the placebo. <laughs> uh, the hospitals would be empty and there'd be worthless vitamin stores on every corner if it worked that well. Uh, well, whoops, one of those is reality. Yeah, it, it can't be a placebo effect after uh, most people having Alzheimer's after a year, a hundred people, most people improving on cognition. You can't fake your way to that. Uh, Cor Korea must be taking a while, perhaps because of COVID, was a comment. 400 patients enrolled, and it was actually more than 400, and that was end of June. So 1.1 patients per site with 140 sites signed up as if today patent is uh, enrolled Patient is enrolled close to 550. So if it's 1.1, uh, 140 sites, 1.1 comes to 154, I think. Uh, whatever it is. Uh, yeah, 154. And then, so if you do that, uh, it comes to 550, 554, and then more than that. And then that person says it's probably accelerating because we know it takes a while to get these sites up and then the numbers pick up. Uh, and then how about all the, so these numbers are good. These enrollment numbers are good. And I liked this comment from someone in the discord a few days ago, having been a daughter whose mom had Alzheimer's disease, we would have gone to the clinic and been told what they have. My mother never, ever got in the stock market just because we know doesn't mean most people lay know desperation overrides FUD. So we were worried that the FUD would keep patients from being enrolled, but these patients are desperate. And uh, desperation is overriding FUD, so good stuff. And then look at this. This blew my mind. This is Elizabeth Bick's Twitter. This is her Twitter, 128,000 followers. She calls herself the biggest fraud of them all. I, I hesitate to, to, to point this out because now she's going to change it. <laughs> but <laughs> Elizabeth, the biggest fraud of them all, Bick. Well, I couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> what a gift. Thank you. <laughs> you sure are bright. <laughs> okay. With that, my investing friends, let's go to the phones. All righty. Join the free newsletters in the description. Join the free newsletters in the description. Thank you, Investors Club. Poke says... Looks like a great show today. Yes, indeed, my friend. Great because you're here, my friend. Thank you for being here. Great to see you. 
Chris Rock 002, I can smell the breakthrough therapy designation for cassava sciences already. Yeah, and so we should, we think we're gonna get that on cognition maintenance study. Mr. Barbier was asked a question about breakthrough therapy designation as it relates to cognition maintenance study. And that was in that fireside chat where he tried to pour water on everything and he couldn't pour water on breakthrough for CMS. It, it was made for, for breakthrough. We'll see if we get it or not. Uh, and then there was an update in this press release. Uh, we know that September was when they enrolled the last person in the hundred uh, or the one year uh, open label. And then they go into uh, the CMS. They're calling it Q4 now. So we know it's September. Then uh, So maybe they're calling it October. So Q4. So they're calling it Q4. But that is about to... Uh, that will uh, be fully enrolled in Q4 is what the, is, is, was, is the long and the short of that. Thank you, Chris. Jacob, Jacob Ackerhausen, 63 of the patients improving. 5.6 points is incredible compared to the expected 5.5 point decline. I said 5 point decline, 5.5 point decline expected. And that's not a, that's a, that's a good expectation. There's been many, many Alzheimer's studies run to try to find a good drug with failure after failure after failure. But the upside is there's been a lot of placebo trials run and we know what placebo groups look like. Okay, five, and they look like a 5.5 point decline over a year, not an improvement. I was told 30% of Alzheimer's disease patients are misdiagnosed as well. So these results are amazing. Great point, great point, my friend. Yeah, if you can make 63% improve, Maybe the other third didn't have it. Maybe, maybe it makes everybody improve. Who knows? Great point, my friend. Great point. Hey, Joe, you excited yet? Yeah, this was some good news. I didn't like that the headline number wasn't so great and that the stock was a little bit down, but it was up yesterday, a big one, a big shot. Uh, but yeah, the, the under, the, we look at the details. The, the drug is working. The drug is working. We knew this, but this is really good validation. So the next, so the first 50 patients came in like six more than more than 68 percent it helped the next 50 patients came in 58 percent it helped great super awesome totally awesome and safe and safe and well tolerated tim kirk says everyone click like please click like you're gonna like liking like i'll tell you that thank you tim appreciate it my friend peter my friend hi joe an improvement of an average of 5.6 points what does it mean in a parent's in percentage compared to placebo group. Well, you couldn't really compare percentage-wise to placebo because placebo is going the opposite direction. It's not like placebo improves a little and uh, the drug improves a lot more. Placebo goes negative, whereas drug goes positive. Uh, or maybe the way this that, that study, that test is done, it's the reverse, but they go in opposite directions. So percentage points, it's not necessarily, you're, you're coming it's not necessarily a, a, a good comparison to do percentages because one's going up and one's going down. It's, a, it's just opposite directions. So it's uh, it's even better. You could compare, what, like Aduhelm was doing percentages, saying ours was like, it, it declined like 30% slower than, uh, than a placebo group or whatever. Yeah, because you were still declining. That's why you can use a percentage. This one is improving. The percentages stop working. Good question, my friend. Good to point that out. Chuck Daly, will we get a presentation from the company? I don't think so. And that's a good, good question jogging my mind. I wanted to point out that the statement we got from Mr. Barbier, uh, remember last year at AAIC, they gave just one little, little positive statement. And the shorts were like, oh, how inappropriate for you to be so, uh, to, to, to say, to, 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 to claim, or make these wild claims. He didn't make any wild claims. He was just ever so slightly, ever so slightly optimistic. His statement in this one, it, it couldn't have been more subdued. It was, I can't believe, can you believe that? Can you have the biggest fraud of them all? Can you believe that? <laughs> This one was more subdued, much, much more subdued. I am pleased with our operating performance in the first half of 2022. I'm also humbled by the hard work of our team members and clinical partners. Persistence and a focus on performance are key when you're trying to beat Alzheimer's disease. That's very dry. So I don't, I don't, it seems to me they're, they're battened down as far as being defensive. We talked about how they were going through old filings to make sure that they crossed all their T's uh, to, and they, they did that, fi that, that filing 
they put the fee schedule on that old filing. Nobody cares. Nobody, nobody was, nobody, nobody they didn't do anything wrong. They just, they're making sure that they've got all their, so the point is that they're being defensive. I don't think that they're going to be promotional. So I don't think we're going to get a presentation, but I was wrong about them releasing this data. So maybe we will. Maybe we will. Thank you, Chuck. Tim, overall, I didn't see any bad news. Overall, I didn't see any bad news. Enrollment is steady. Enrollment's actually really, uh, that was really an optimistic, a bullish development for me. I was enrollment. That was very bullish, I thought. Uh, but hopefully, it will pick up with more sites open. I, I think it's actually better. Uh, I was hoping for 300. I was hoping for 300. We got 400 and maybe it's 550 or better now. So we're getting close to double that. Hopefully it will pick up with more sites open because at this rate, we probably need another 1.5 years just to complete enrollment. No, if we're doing 1.1 people per site, that's 154 per month. That's eight months to get the 1200 people remaining that we need. If we're at 550 now, that's April. That's April. We're so we, at this pace, we could be enrolled by April and Vinny in the Discord is saying, and it's probably accelerating as well. And we can take a look at what a Reddit dub said as well once we get uh, through the comments. Thank you, Tim. Chris Rock, rather one year, they had 120 patients enrolled early May. Coming off of the comments, breakthrough, yeah. Rather 120 patients enrolled early May, yep, yep, yep. Eldar, hi Joe, happy Saba day today. Happy Saba day today to you, my friend. Hopefully market will wake up and properly react to the positive news coming out from Saba sooner than later. It, it seemed that they reacted extra sooner, like the, the day before. Like yesterday, what was this big spike on, on pretty heavy volume yesterday? That was, that was the reaction to the news that we got just today. <laughs> the, uh, the shorts, I guess, got the cover yesterday or something. But yeah, it's, I, I, I think we just got our, I think we got our, our reaction just extra early. Peter, Sava will start an additional phase three later uh, this year for all patients who finished a phase three already. Yes, the open label, right. They get Samifilam for free. Maybe it helps to speed up the enrollment rate. Yeah, that's a good point. That's another good point. That also can help speed up the enrollment rate. And they, they haven't been able to say that up until now. You don't just get a year of this medicine, uh, you, or you don't just get a, a year of potentially being on the medicine. You then get it until it's marketed, open label. That, yeah, that, that's, that's, another, that's a great point. You want this medicine, you, you gotta potentially, possibly be off it for a year. The other one, you're potentially, possibly off it for a year and a half, but you only have a one in three chance of being in the placebo group because there's three arms with two of them being drug arms in the longer trial. But good point, it could help speed up, uh, the, the open label can help speed up enrollment, great point. Thank you, Peter. Pale, good to see you. Good news today for Saba, and good news earlier this week for Netlist. Yeah, the market's fine, it, it seems the market may have, it's been brutal, but it may be the worst maybe behind us. Jay, data is everything. Data is everything when it comes to small biotech. I love where we sit with this data. I do too. This is terrific. It's, un it's unprecedented unless it was they themselves that, that did the precedent. Don't worry about today's share price. I'm buying the market manipulation. Guaranteed all big farmers are looking at that data. Triple digits at a full year. It, it's a, that's, those are big milestones. They're, those are big milestones. I, I really like it too. I like it. You, it's hard to ignore. And they did it. They released it during AAIC. I thought that was, it's been a while since they gave us a tactical, strategical win. And we've been getting, dis, we've been getting uh, destroyed out there <laughs> on the field as far as strategy uh, going up against the shorts. This was finally a nice a master a master move, a a, a, a a really master stroke, really really nicely done. Tim Kirk, let the river run. Let's give Sava credit for all of the transparency on enrollment numbers. Great to have enrollment numbers and dates for data releases. Awesome job by Remy. Yeah, agreed. Let's give him credit because we've given him a lot of given him a lot of. Grief, which they might have deserved, but they let's give credit where it's due. Good job, team. 
Pale, well, then they got this far. They, they deserve a ton of credit to, to get this far. My, my gosh. Pale, Netlist receives favorable order against Samsung in U.S. District Court. Yep. Well, that's right. You talked about that yesterday. Well done, my friend. Today announced that the court issued an order granting in part Netlist's motion for dismissing Samsung's first amended complaint and denying Samsung's request to file a second amended complaint. Samsung and Google, they've got good, seemingly very strong cases against both of them. So, and then more, more good developments there. And that company has its own uh, good technology as well, its own technology. Uh, or, or that it's, it's not just suing people, you, other people using its technology, it's marketing its own and doing well there as well. Pale, Jason, Netless's director of IP, said, we are pleased Judge Andrews dismissed half of the pending claims from Samsung, including 912. We look forward to continue defending our intellectual property rights remaining cases. Separately, following the order, Netless filed a complaint against Samsung Eastern District Court of Texas infringement 912 patent. Thank you, Pale. D law. Imagine if we double the dosage since it's safe, safe so far. And that is probably, if you want to up the dosage, it seemed the difference between 50 and 100 and 200. They tried all three. Uh, I think they tried 200 as well. But they, 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 it was already fully, almost fully saturated basically at 50. And then there's a half-life of four to six hours. So if you wanted to up the dosage, you would want to up the dosing schedule. Uh, do it. Do it every four to six hours. So do it four times a day, or even six times a day, four, five, six times a day, if you wanted to up the schedule, up the dosage, up the schedule. Pale. I think it should be three pills a day. There you go. Pale. You guys. You guys are way ahead of me. Not two, because one pill only restores a normal shape and function for six hours. Right. So I, I agree. It should, if you gave this continuously, you you should improve faster. Just have them take one pill at breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day. That's a good idea. Yeah, one with each meal. That's a good idea. On the possibilities, but I was referring to milligrams from 100 to 200. What about extended release? Extended release is more interesting. They already did 100 and 200. Uh, they, they, did, they, they tried at least two, I think, three different dosages. And they, did, they said the lowest one we went with was saturating. So we, we don't need to go to the higher ones. Also, for the first time I saw the pill, uh, the pills that's given in these trials won't be, will not be the same as it's marketed, uh, but somebody posted a picture of it in the Discord. It was larger than I was thinking. It almost looked like a chiclet, if you remember that gum. So I don't even know if it needs to be any larger. But extended release is interesting. D law, oh, the possibilities, but I was referring to milligrams 102 when it would extend and release. Yep. Tim Kirk, stock will be very green by the end of the day. I think it might be. Also, ALHZ is very complex, yep, and not well understood. The fact that it works more than 50% of patients is truly, truly incredible. It really is. Let's not get lost in all of this. Uh, oh, the mechanism of action, mechanism of action the Western blots, uh, the biggest fraud in the world, whatever that person was calling herself, has a problem with it, whatever. <laughs> Uh, let's not get lost in the weeds here. This is incredible stuff. Yeah, I agreed, Tim. Absolutely incredible. Truly, truly incredible, as you say. Ryan Miami. Hey, Joe, can you get Tucker Carlson on your show soon? Saba is the alternative, the anti-groupthink option. He may need some more education on the topic. I went and looked for that FDA, FDA segment he did last week. I couldn't find it. And then I'm told he did an Alzheimer's segment last night. I didn't see that either. If you can send it to me, I'd appreciate it. And of course, I'll get him on the show. Mike, hi, Joe. Awesome show. Thanks for all you do. My pleasure, my friend. Thank you for being here, Mike. Appreciate it. Jay, been a while. Good to see you, my friend. Jay, hi, Joe. Can you can, can't see how anyone can claim a placebo effect. You can't possibly claim that most out of 100 people with Alzheimer's most of them a year later improved on a cognition test. There, there's no way you can claim that placebo effect. No way. Not with the bad press on this drug. If anything, I would think it would be the opposite, that everyone would be worried it wouldn't work at all. Absolutely. AD3, my friend, great to see you. Long time. missing. Hey, Joe, missing you guys. Yeah, I saw that not only I was missing you, my friend, I saw other people were, were missing you as well. Great to see you back. I know you have a big uh, sales career and a family and you take such good care of your dad, too, on top of that. So we know you're very busy. Thanks for coming. Hey, Joe, missing you guys. Been busy with work, 
but always doing a lot backstage. I see you on LinkedIn. I am pumped with these results. Wow, nothing like this out there. And I saw that Cassava Science's Twitter account was uh, did a really great uh, release for this. And I think that's Anthony's work. So great work, my friend. I am pumped for these results too. And there is nothing like this out there. It is wow. And especially for you, my friend, and, and your father. Uh, very, really, really great results. Most people improved. Uh, really, really, really terrific. And we, we, we were already excited about it, but it sure feels good to see it. I'm really glad about it. Tim Kirk, people with alls have good and bad days. I wonder when the patient takes the cognitive test makes a big difference for data. Yeah, uh, that's, that's true. It, it, it really, and then uh, you can, some people do better in the morning or the evening. Hopefully it's, you replicate the exact same type of environment each, each time. But from what I understand, uh, you can sabotage that if you want to. Mashik. I used to know how to say your name. Mashik, we'll say, I'll, I'll go look it up so you how to say your name. Great to see you, my friend. Hey, Joe, could today's drop in share price be due to some more positive info on the way or just the spring going the other way since two days in a row, Saba gained a lot? I think it's that one. And even including, uh, this is, we found out about the news today. Somebody else found out about the news yesterday, the shorts or someone. So I, I, I it, it was a big, yeah, like it was a, it was a big up day yesterday and a big volume day yesterday. And then we get a big surprise news drop today. So I, I happen to think somebody knew something. So that's what I think. Jay, vasc vascular dementia is often misdiagnosed as AD or it can be combined with AD, which I would think can really blow the average. So really interesting. So Jacob Ackerhausen was saying 30% of time, 30% of times, Alzheimer's can be misdiagnosed. We know that there's not a good way to diagnose it right now. That's the National Institute of Health gives grants to like more than 100 companies to try to find a diagnosis because there's not a good way to diagnose it. Misdiagnosed a lot, like Jacob says. And then somebody in the Discord was saying uh, it, it could have you could have misdiagnosis or comorb or some of this was saying comorbidities. And then Jay say, is saying you could have a misdiagnosis as vascular dementia. So Alzheimer's often misdiagnosed as vascular dementia. So that would explain why it's helping most, but not all people, because maybe they don't have Alzheimer's. Really great, uh, really great comment, Jay. Or, or the comorbidity, as you say as well. So they have Alzheimer's and vascular dementia. So really great comment. Great comment by everybody. Silver Charm, hello, Joe. I assume 16% stayed the same, which is positive data also. That puts it at 79% positive data on ADASCOG. So 16% uh, went down uh, as much or more than you would expect. Another 21% went down, but only an average of 2.7 when you would expect 5.5. And then 63% went up, an average of like 5.6 or whatever it was. So really good. Silver Charm, are there any cities open in Canada? Yes, South Korea. Not yet. I'm thinking maybe South Korea might be COVID related that they're not open yet. They have not announced that one yet. But Canada is a yes. I, I think Toronto area. Hey, Joe, how do we know the 400 plus enrollment is end of June and not end of July? Okay, Cassava did not give a date in their earnings release. Okay, so that's so that's interesting. Thank you. Uh, I wonder if the 8K, I wonder if, because they also do an 8K. I wonder if the 8K might have given a, a date. Yeah, I was getting that. Somebody in the Discord said that's end of June, which it might be. It could have been. But if they didn't say that in the press release and I didn't explicitly look for a date, you're right. So maybe it's not 550. Maybe it's 400. So thank you. Thank you. Mike, can Sava pay for a one-page newspaper quarterly report on all the fake newspapers, New York Times, Wall Street Journal, and Daily Mail? I, don't, I, I, bet, that the, I bet that the shorts would pay more to, to keep it off. That's a good question. I don't know. In the same newspaper ad, and yeah, if you did it in the same paper, that might be might be uh, might be impactful. Although you wouldn't want to give those guys money after they trash you. Raymond Silver, there are open sites in Canada. Thanks, Raymond. Are you looking to enroll someone? No, just wondering how the international effort was going. Joe, have you heard about using semifilam as a prophylactic? We we've wanted, we've talked about that, and possibly even as a prophylactic for. Aging, we know that uh, misfold. We know that some, uh, filament A is a structural 
protein uh, found in cells all throughout the body. They used to think it was just a structure like bricks helping to hold the cell up or hold it together. But then they found that it was biologically active in many, many, many processes. And then there's even more suggesting that the, the breakdown of, of filament A might be related to numerous age-related disease, might be fundamental to aging. And if you could stop that process, you could stop a lot of aging-related diseases. So yeah, this safe and well-tolerated oral drug could be terrific possibly as a prophylactic for not just Alzheimer's, but aging. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah. So it's a great, great question, Raymond. Uh, Peace of Garn says, hope your dad is doing fine. AD3, we all do. Ishmael, good morning, Joe. Good morning, Ishmael. Great to see you, my friend. Great info, great results. Great to see you. Time to be excited. Yes, indeed. Time to be excited. You know what we'll do? Time to be excited. Woo-wee! <laughs> Haven't gotten the sign going in a while. There we go. Thank you for that. The original Mr. Wonderful says, Hello, Joe. Been a long time. Great to see you, my friend. Been a long time. Had to say hi on such a great, a great news day. Yeah, such a great news day. It's been a rough year, uh, the fear, uncertainty, and doubt-wise. And it's great to see our patients paying off. Stay the course. Great comment. I agree. We've been through a lot. I mean, the, the shorts and the media have been really hammering this. But we have stayed true. And it's... Uh, and Things are, this is, is a really great report. Really great to see. Absolutely. I couldn't agree more, my friend. Thank you. Tim, can you do a continuation of this show tomorrow, summarizing the data due dates and your projected dates for upcoming news? Yes. And while we're at it, here is, uh, now this was just posted in the Investors Club Discord. This is the, what I always talk about, see you in the Discord. This is the Investors Club Discord where we chat about all this stuff. And when you join the newsletters, you get the Discord. So anyway, uh, Aredadub, who does all the amazing enrollment charting and projections, just posted this. So I didn't have time to go through, but we can look at that tomorrow and, 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 and we'll go through the, the calendar like you say. And also, while we're here, I just wanted to, Aredadub has been such a great contributor, wanted to, to put his contribution out there. Phase three enrollment enrollment model, his enrollment model showed 357 for the end of July, 493 for the end of August. Uh, da, 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 da. In my opinion, they crushed this out of the park. Huge headwinds from FUD, COVID, and other things. And patients and their families are starting to see through the short and distort campaign. Uh, okay, so then he, he does, he's got the numbers here, but I didn't have time to go through the through the uh, charting and whatnot, but he's got charts that get us all the way to full enrollment. We can take a look at the timeline for that and the timeline for the rest of their catalysts. Absolutely, Tim. 80 live viewers, great job, Joe. Great job, team. Yeah, this is a uh, this is the this is the best we've we've gotten since we've been back live. I still haven't gotten my AdSense thing. This weekend, I, I'm going to incorporate in a new state and just get documents that way. I'm waiting for Florida, waiting for AdSense. I'm just going to incorporate in a different state. <laughs> Silver, we need to call Reuters and request them to do an exclusive story on this. Yeah, crooks. Reuters works. Uh, they, they are absolutely an arm of, uh, the, of the machine. They are absolutely... Big media, big pharma, big, uh, they, they, that's, they are absolutely, they're like the, like the fact checkers, right? Of like, uh, officially of, of whatever. I mean, they're, they're, they're absolutely in the bag. JC, just stopping the decline for 63% would have been good, but the improvement is amazing. Absolutely. Would be interesting to see what happens to these patients over the next year or two. Yeah, uh, then, so, well, we'll, well, we will see. We will see. Well, yeah, uh, as you say, we'll, we'll see. There's because uh, some of them, half of them are going to go on. Well, of, of the uh, 200 that are going through the open label, uh, maybe more than half will go into CMS. Of that will be split half and half placebo and not. And then they all go back on drugs. So we will see some of them. Joe says, hello, Joe. Hello, Joe. What a ride this company is going through. You got that right. This validates what we all knew. I believe in this company and drug. This will happen. Thanks for all you do to bring the truth out. My pleasure, my friend. Uh, it's uh, I, I appreciate everybody being here. The Fudsters are awful, but that brings us together to talk about all this stuff. And together, we're doing a great job. Thank you, my friend, and thanks everybody uh, for being a part of this. 
silver charm and contributing and with all this great stuff, all the great info coming to with all this great info. Love the new Investors Club set. Thank you, Silver Charm. Thanks for all you do, Joe. My pleasure, my friend. Thank you. Isabel, this is great, Joe. I'm, just, I'm, I'm not just excited about the money, but also for the future of my family and myself. Alzheimer's disease runs in my family, the rare kind where it starts in your 40s, buying more shares. Then I am extremely happy about these results for you, uh, my friend, Isabel. I, I, I'm so sorry to hear that you have that. Uh, but th this is great news, and I wonder, I'm, I'm maybe maybe not in a position for you to get into a trial, but hopefully within two years this can be approved, and that would be great. Yeah, and it, and it's safe and well tolerated. Uh, if your doctor, a good relationship with your doctor, maybe you could take it prophylactically in your case of starting in your 40s. So yeah, uh, this is really good news. So I'm, I'm happy for you. Thank you. I'm happy for all of us, but yeah, thank you. Uh, Ryan, so much slander, but and then I'm sure you want it for your family members that have it as well. Uh, Ryan Ward, so much slander, but data don't lie. People need to see this to, to understand. Yeah, this is really good. Triple digits now. Yeah. Tim Kirk, I am very, very excited. Such a great day for Alzheimer's and Investors Club. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Tim, for being a part of this. Uh, thank you, everybody, for contributing. This is something we're doing together. We're up against the machine, and the people have risen up. <laughs> And it's great to be a part of it with you. Thank you. Andrew, what will be the next catalyst time-wise? Well, we know in Q4 we're going to get uh, all 200 people uh, for this very same uh, study. Uh, so, the, because they were fully enrolled in, in September. So, by September, October, they'll be fully done. And then we'll get those results in Q4. We have biomarkers coming, possible partnerships. Uh, we could also, just like this makes me wonder now, will we get an early peak at CMS? Because I had not, again, I, I, I wasn't thinking we were going to get an early peak at this and because the company had gotten so defensive. But now I was thinking we were going to wait until CMS is all done. We could maybe see people after six months or see the first group after a year. Who knows? Who knows? Jeffrey, the FDA and Department of Justice need to come to Cassava Science's defense now. If this didn't happen today, I might have done a show about the whistleblowers at FDA, NIH, and CDC. And uh, it's so corrupt there, unfortunately. Maybe things are changing, hopefully. But uh, <laughs> like those, those the, the COVID, uh, the, the boosters, the vaccinations in kids, I mean, they just, like, again and again, as we all know, the, the facts, the data, <laughs> the science didn't matter. The, uh, the money mattered. The money mattered. What else is new? But anyway, I, I don't want to... But, yeah, but I couldn't agree with you more. FDA and DOJ, it would, yeah, that would be really great to have them on our side. Raymond, Joe, do you have any information on how Simifilam will be priced? No, I don't. Uh, we know as guide rails that uh, Aduhelm came in at 56000 and then, or was it 58, and then went down to 26 or 28, something like that. It's called 56 going down to 28 or something like that. So uh, uh, that was, <laughs> so that's, so maybe, I, I would think that like a, a thousand a month or so might be about, about right the way the drugs are priced. Obviously, people would be paying that out of pocket. Uh, with, you know, that would be a, a huge savings. A thousand dollars a month would represent a big savings. Uh, all around for for healthcare providers, uh, for family members. If there's, remember this this is uh, the, the direct spend is was like a quarter trillion, and then the indirect spend was a quarter trillion. So this is like half a trillion. It was like three percent of GDP every year is Alzheimer's disease. So they could they could spend a thousand dollars a month and easily have that be a savings for everyone. So, or maybe even up to two thousand a month, but so, something in that area, I guess. I mean, maybe in between fifteen hundred a month, something like that. JC, you should try contacting Tucker. Last night he talked about the fraud. Oh, last was going over two decades with Alzheimer's and the drugs that don't work. Yeah, I, mean, I don't think I can get Tucker's attention, but I sure would. I definitely would. Yeah, I'm glad Tucker's there. I'm glad every. I'm glad all the whistleblowers. The, uh, are there the, the real whistleblowers, the real people that are pointing out what the fudsters and the thieves are doing. Guys, great day for Alzheimer's in the midst of all the, the bad day for the fudsters, bad day for the evil people. 
Great day for Alzheimer's. Uh, nobody commented on Elizabeth Bick calling herself the biggest fraud in the world. Am I missing something or is that like the, is that like a great gift that she gave us? The biggest fraud, Elizabeth, the biggest fraud of them all, Bick. Couldn't agree more. I wonder, so, I mean, and then, and all these people, are they, are they not happy for the, the family members of people with Alzheimer's and stuff like that? The ones that never said anything about Adu Helma just trash this. Anyway, great to see you guys. Great to see the good guys. Bad day for the bad guys. Great day for the good guys. La Holy says, it is amazing the company Saba has success with the drug. Their info is not all over. This is the best so far. Absolutely. The best so far. Absolutely. And uh, if, I, if I have a family member on there, that's definitely what I would be doing. We heard from, I can't remember the doctor at the Princeton Medical Institute. If he had a family member, this is what he'd be doing. So great to see you guys. Great day for Alzheimer's. Great day uh, for everybody in the world because this affects everyone. Uh, great to see you guys. See you in the Discord. Sign up for the newsletter. See you in the Discord.